Hi there, I'm Marie. Today I want to share with you how I grow sesame sprouts and sesame microgreens. Those are not as commonly grown as broccoli or mung beans. However, a few of my viewers asked if I would show this. So here we are. I'll be using these raw black sesame seeds. You can also use the white variety. Make sure they are not toasted ones. That won't work. The seeds are really small, as you can see with them next to a penny. We'll do it in a jar and on a tray. This jar holds 4 cups, or 1 litre, when filled to the rim. I will not be using this top drain tray. It wouldn't hold such small seeds. Use a lid with a screen like this that allows air circulation and draining. Or use a piece of mesh secure with a rubber band. It works just as well. I'll use 3 tablespoons of seeds for each. First, we'll rinse them. A quick stir to loosen any dust. For the second rings, I add 1 tablespoon of vinegar to sanitize them. Wait about 2 minutes before draining off the liquid. And then ring just one more time. The seed coats on these are very thin and they sprout nicely without soaking. They got plenty of water during rinsing. Once they have been cleaned, pour them onto the tray and start the sprouting process. Some are stuck to the sides. I'm getting as many of them out as possible. Spread them as evenly as you can. As I mentioned earlier, I'll grow this without using a drain tray. That works well as long as I don't overwater them. Here are another 3 tablespoons of seeds I just finished cleaning. I'm inverting the jar to drain off the water. Seeds sprout quicker in the dark, so I'm covering them up to shield them from light. You can use anything that blocks light. Keep them in a cool area as they sprout. We need to water them twice a day, or every 12 hours. I'll show you how I water them in the next few clips. So, this is the end of day 1. As you can see, they have germinated. You can see their little tails have just started appearing. Now for watering, for those in the tray, simply spray them with water just enough to keep them hydrated. Be sure not to leave standing water at the bottom of the tray. For those in the jar, fill the jar with water, swirl it around so every seed gets hydrated. Then, drain the water off. Set them aside and we'll check back again tomorrow. This is the end of day 2. They have grown quite a bit and already filled up half the jar. The ones on the tray look equally healthy. We'll check back in 24 hours. We are at the end of day 3.
They have now filled up all the way to the rim. The tray is full as well. Most of the seat coats have fallen off. They are about two and a half inches long and are ready to harvest as sprouts. The reason they are yellow is because they haven't been exposed to light yet. Let's compare them. Those on the left side are from the jar and these are from the tray. The ones from the tray are slightly longer and straighter. Sesame sprouts have a sweet, delicate flavor. They are a good source of protein, calcium and potassium. They are also known to be high in antioxidants. Okay, if you want to harvest these as microgreens instead of sprouts, all you need to do is put the tray next to a window where they can get some indirect sunlight. They begin turning green after they are exposed to light. To water the microgreens, use just enough to cover the ends of their roots, pouring in about 4 tablespoons of water from the side of the tray. I do this only once a day. This is the end of day 5. And this is day 6. Sesame microgreens are ready to harvest between the 6th and 7th days. Beyond 7 days, they may become a little bitter. So remember to harvest them before that. The seed coats tend to stay at the bottom of the plants. They can be removed together with the roots. I store them in airtight bags. They stay fresh in my refrigerator for at least a week. Thank you for watching. I have several microgreen videos on my channel you may find useful. So be sure to check them out. Bye for now.